Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to cover the rewards that you will get if you complete Season 4 and you hit rank 100. So let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so as soon as you've played Season 4 and reached uh, rank 100, you should have unlocked the Cold Steel Bundle, uh, which includes the Complete Chaos Power Armor Paint, the Cold Steel Game Board essentially, uh, the Complete Chaos Player Icon, and 500 Atoms. Alright, so this is how it looks like. I gotta tell you, the skin is kinda alright. I mean, we have better. <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's begin with the player icon. I'm going to quickly show it to you and uh, where you got to look for it is basically at your icons and depending on how many skins you own, you will need to scroll a lot. That's why I stopped buying and not taking any freebies, only the season ones uh, in regards to player icons. So there we go. That's uh, what you will get. That's the play icon. Alright, so the season board, uh, the game board, there it is. Now have in mind that I do not think that uh, some of the items will be returning to the Atomic Shop, so it's only accessible through the season. Uh, maybe in some future the skin for the power armor will return, but I truly hope uh, that the scoreboards will not go to the Atomic Shop, because we did have cases where uh, some items from seasons came to the atomic shop, but I hope not the boards because this is more of like showing the Kind of like the achievement right that you've played it through that you got it or you bought it <laughs> I played it through I don't spend money on uh, Seasons, but anyway, that's the board that you will get if you complete season 4 and You can find it at your building menu if you navigate to the wall decor section and just scroll down and you'll see your season one that's season this is season two season three and season four all right all right so we've covered the player icon we've covered these game board we're not going to cover the atoms because it's just that it's atoms right <laughs> and the final thing we're going to cover is the actual power armor which uh is applicable to other power armors so basically I believe all the power armors that we have within the game uh, this is T51 if I'm not mistaken so that's how the skin looks like well, let me kinda like get here to the sun section it's sunrise so it should be good to see I really like the idea with the helmet to be honest the projectile but I think it would be make it would make a lot more sense if you could actually see the player's face over there and show the headwears that we are wearing because that kind of makes sense. I mean, it's just a sort of a projection, right? Otherwise, in theory, thinking where the hell is my head <laughs> or this thing overrides. I mean, look, we can see what's behind us, right? So it makes perfect sense to actually see the head. But anyway, that's kind of like my thinking maybe I'm thinking wrong uh, the actual power armor well I like the front I like that this thing kinda like blanks blanks and whatever but in general I wouldn't say that this is the best power armor I mean look at it which actually got me thinking cuz I'm not a power armor user this is T51 what if uh, we quickly make my excavator power armor and see what happens. At least like a shoulder or something. Will it be the same or not? Yeah, let's check that out. Let's do that together. I actually didn't think of that until I was watching this thing. Okay, so let's do an ar arms. Complete. So yeah, by the way, once you claim it, this is where you find it. Complete chaos. Uh... Complete chaos. Although I really like my uh, loadout with my excavator, because this is the only power armor that I use, to be honest. Like, two farm resources. Alright, fine, let's do it all, man. 
complete power armor. Legs. Complete chaos paint. And uh, another leg. Complete. Wait, that's complete, 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 complete. I'm gonna leave the fuzzy helmet. Just for the just for the fun of it. Alright, so there is our power armor. Let's put that there right there. And let's see what's the difference gonna be looking like. Boom. And that's T51. Boom. Alright, so they're the same. So it's a skin that applies the same. I actually like the head head. Looks good. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, now let me show you where the light comes out. Actually, the light comes out from the helmet, which I actually find pretty cool. And uh, let's do it somewhere like hide from the sun. <laughs> uh, turn it on. And as you can see, it's coming from that circle over there. Well, sort of the eye. <laughs> and we turn it off it's off right so this little eye over there and of course if you look into like the area it will look like circleish so that's cool in regards to uh, having a weapon it doesn't take up pretty much no visual thing so that's cool I mean we had some power armors where it would like block half a screen so this power armor does not do it um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it with the power armor. So they're kind of like identical. Unfortunately, the jetpack is not included. Yeah, they are identical. So it's a uh, ultimate skin for whatever power armor type you're going to be using. Uh, now, in regards to jetpack, since there is no jetpack, if you played season one, there's actually a pretty good jetpack that could actually. Ah, Korpalski that could fit this specific skin. So let me take that. Come on, let's go. Right, put that down. Let's go over here. Torso. Oh wait, mod. Captain Cosmo jetpack. That's the one I was thinking of. Shoot, man, I'm out of flux. Damn, I need to start grinding this game, man. I'm, I'm running out of resources. I'm running out of screws, running out of flux. That's what you get for not playing the game, man. <laughs> there you go. There's a dark version available as well. I forgot how it's called, but I find that this jetpack looks pretty cool. And by the way, once again, I want to say a big thank you to Z Clan who supplied me with. Uh, different types of power armors when I moved from PC to Xbox and thanks to you I'm able to display all of this so once again that's uh, pretty much it I didn't think we have anything else to cover and I think I've covered everything that I wanted to in this <clears throat> video so you all know the drill if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, positive, negative feedback, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. And, you know, if you don't swear, your comments are visible and people are able to react. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I'm from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. If you want to join our Discord, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. Of Make sure to read our, our rules and follow the instructions on how to get access to the chats that you want to see because since the Discord server is over 850 members, we have a whole bunch of chats over there and I give you the freedom to select the chats that you want to see. Alright, so once again, thanks a lot for watching. Y'all have a good morning, day, and night. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future.